What's going on everybody, Matthew Monas here, and today we're doing another camera comparison. We're comparing the big XS Max versus another big device, the Galaxy Note 9. The question is, which one takes the better photos? As always, I like to start things off with a nice stiff cock, and this cockle right here is a handsome little fella, probably the head of his hen, and he looks great on both devices. I gotta hand it to the XS Max. I definitely think it did a better job of exposing the picture. You see more detail, more colors in the leaves around his neck, on the bottom of the statue that he's standing on. However, I do think the Note 9 did a better job of the details in the background. I've noticed with most Galaxy devices, it tends to slightly overexpose its shots, whereas on the XS Max, it looks a little bit more natural. Again, we have another indoor shot. This time it's with tungsten lighting, and I think the Note 9 definitely looks better. However, the iPhone XS Max has a more natural look to it. This really comes down to personal preference. Do you prefer more of a contrast to your pictures, or do you prefer more of a natural picture and then being able to fine tune it later in post. Let's say if you're posting it on Instagram. So now we're outdoors and both photos did a great job of capturing the image. Now here's the interesting part. The XS Max definitely blew out the sky, whereas on the Note 9, it did a good job of exposing the sky because you can actually see some of it if you look between the trees. Besides that, the rest of the image on the Note 9 looks darker, making the Max look a little bit more appealing. Again, I'm finding the Note 9 to go a little bit too heavy on the shadows, removing some of that detail, whereas on the trees on the Max, you can see those leaves a lot better. So the next outdoor shot is kind of interesting because both phones pretty much captured the exact same amount of detail. If anything, slightly better detail in the shadows with the Note 9. I personally like the Max better. There's more of a blue tone to the sky, whereas on the Note 9, it kind of looks a little bit washed out. It's kind of funny because the way these cameras are acting are almost as if they're the same sensors. The only difference is the way that Apple and Samsung is using their algorithms to fine tune the colors. The next shot is kind of freaky because both cameras did a pretty equal job. If anything, again, it comes down to the color science. The Note 9 this time has a cooler tone, whereas the 10X Max has a warmer one. Details are pretty much equal between both phones. If anything, the Note 9 might have lowered the aperture to 2.4 to capture less blur in the background, whereas on the Max, the background's a bit more blurry, providing slightly more bokeh. Next up is a nighttime shot, and I personally like the way the Note 9 looks better. However, it did overexpose the shot, and you can see that with the light in the middle. You can also see the Metro sign in the background, that's slightly overexposed, and if you look Underneath the car, the shadows are completely blown out. If anything, again, the iPhone XS Max has a more slightly true to life tone to it, whereas on the Note 9, things are kind of overexposed, slightly a little bit more contrasty to provide more of a pleasing photo. So here we go, same photo, but we're zooming all the way into the background because I wanted to see which phone would do a better job of capturing detail in the distance. And they both do the exact same thing. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that Apple Apple probably bought Samsung sensors this year and are using them in their smartphone. Okay, so in this photo, I definitely think the Note 9 did a better job of taking the picture. I looked better exposed or more properly exposed. The background has more detail with the Note 9. Even though the light in the background is slightly overexposing the rear of me, I still think the photo looks better all on the Note 9. The iPhone 10, there's a lot more noise that's compensating for having a lower aperture, but my skin tones, I look pale. I look like Casper to the ghost in this photo. So I'm gonna give this round to the Note 9. Now we're talking front facing camera and as you can see here, the iPhone 10 did a much better job. My complexion, my skin tones just look a lot more natural and a lot more pleasing to look at. So again, we have the exact same photo, but this time we're using portrait mode. I like the way the Max looks better. My skin tones look a lot more appealing. I can tell that the iPhone is using a little bit of skin smoothing, but it's not too much to be overbearing. The Note 9, still the same problems with the complexion in my skin. However, it is slightly better. In terms of blur, they both do a good job. However, the iPhone does a much better job. If you look at the floaty in the background, it's completely blurred on the iPhone, but the Note 9 completely misinterpreted it, leaving it in focus. Now we're switching to portrait mode with the rear cameras and both phones nailed it. Well, almost nailed it. I do like the iPhone better. I think it looks a lot more appealing. 
I look thinner. I don't have to crop in like you do with live focus, especially when you're taking the picture from the exact same spot. The blur in the background is better. If you look at the bottom left or even on the right hand side, the those portions of the picture on the Note 9 are in frame when they should be blurred. So last up, we have 4K video. I think the iPhone looks better. The colors look better. There's more detail when you're looking at things like the car or even the trees. If you look at the sky, for example, it's not as blown out compared to the Note 9. However, the Note 9 does a slightly better Better job with image stabilization. So that pretty much wraps up this camera comparison. Of course, with the Galaxy Note 9, you can do things like 960 frames per second slow motion, where only you can do about 240 on the iPhone XX Max. What's quite interesting is that a lot of these shots look so similar, and it just looks like both companies, companies have their own version of color science. I wouldn't be surprised if Apple is using Samsung sensors this year in their smartphone, because the images just look so similar when it comes to detail. Detail. So anyways, that wraps it up. Sometimes the iPhone did a better job. Sometimes the Note 9 did a better job, but they're very similar. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Which camera did you personally think took the better photos and why? Now, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Discord. If you want behind the scenes, follow me on Instagram. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.